Welcome back, pool fans, uh, to the second match uh, in the first round. Uh, this match between Jeffy DeLuna and Mario He. Uh, we are Mad Apple Extreme uh, at Jason Shaw's Pool Halls, US One Billiards in Connecticut. Uh, I'm here in the, this is, uh, in the comedy box with Kendall Quickfire Cook. And who do we have for this match, Kendall? Um... All right. That's the question. Yeah, all right. Jeffrey De, <laughs> Jeffrey De Luna from the... I Did you I say just, that already? I thought I'd just get you in there. Yeah, good work. Um, uh, Jeffrey De Luna, Mario, he... Looking forward to this match. I think it's going to be great. Uh, both uh, champions. So we got... Uh, we got the... Uh, I've got a fantastic match here coming up. Caught me off guard there, Peng. Got to admit. Yeah. All right, so Mario broke. He won the... Uh, Leg, he's going to be pushing out here. Ended up with not a whole lot that he liked on the two. And I've always been a fan of Jeffrey DeLuna's style. A super powerful stroke. They call him the bull, right? Jeffrey DeLuna the bull playing against Mario the panda. He from Austria. And they're making Mario favorite in this one. Just waiting on the uh, table four. The the arena tables are maybe just a bit tight together, so a little bit of patience for these guys here and there. And they did spread these tables apart for this tournament. They took out two tables and gave them a little bit more space. What a great job they did. In the whole of everything, just getting this thing ready. They replaced all the tables right before yeah. the uh, tournament here. All right, Jeff, we're trying to get him hooked up. Looks like he gave him the edge of the ball. Might be close. He may have to come off that side rail. Yeah, it's tricky this because he's. If he snicks the edge of the two ball, tries to get the cue ball down behind the nine, and the, the two ball doesn't Looks have like a, he's a lot of speed coming out. Rail, yeah. yeah. So he's going to try and hit the back side of the two, leave it up around the nine. Would be the whole. Oh, what a fantastic shot. He may have given the window, but just to get the two ball uh, accurately past the nine ball, he's got to feel that he's a little unlucky there because really Jeffrey's got a good chance to, to bury this one. They keep leaking out here. Just leaked out a little bit. Going to leave uh, Mario a nice shot here at the two ball. And open opportunity for sure. Got an incredible field here this uh, tournament. It's just amazing. I look across the field. So go check out the brackets. Uh, we will give you the link. Mario not ready to get things going yet. Well, he wasn't missing when he was practicing. Yeah, you see David Alcady there on your screen. What are you talking about? That's Jeffrey with DeLuna. In yeah. the background, of course, you're talking. You hate to confuse people, though. You're on Jeff there. Oh, he might have gave one up. This one's going to hang right out in front of that side pocket for Mario. Yeah, and although he's got difficult bridging over the nine ball, it looks fairly straightforward to just gently roll this one in. a slightly thin, narrow angle into the pocket. 
No, that was the trick there, is trying to come up and give yourself some shape. So he's he's feeling aggressive, and he likes it. That 3-6 will go. But we'll have to see. I think he's going to play safe on this one. Oh, it went oh, straight, straight in. Past. Wow. He's, can't even tell our own angle. So good shot there. Worked it out, and everything else looks pretty open at this point, so... I should have taken my ruler to that overhead shot there. Let's see if that ball goes. Yeah, you see it's got a sort of stun pass and not make contact with the eight ball here. Just miss, missing the edge perfectly. Long. Yeah, this brand new cloth is playing quickly. Although he obviously can still make this six ball, he's really got a zig zigzag two rails. And he's trying to decide. I don't think he can hit it slow enough to, to hold it. So, yeah, I think you're he's right. He's trying to decide whether he's going to get on the, on the short side of the seven ball, which is what he has played. Maybe. It's creeped out in front, hasn't it? Pretty sure that's what he was rolling to do. Just a little bit more spin and it would have been good there. He's just slowly drifting out of position because he needs. He's probably going to try and put the cue ball right behind the nine ball here. And when you do that, if he is, if he does like that or not, it doesn't look like he likes it. But you've got to make sure that the seven's not hanging in front of the pocket too. So he's going. Safety it's coming good. here. He's going to try and sneak him in behind that eight ball. Just a little bit of a spin shot over. Oh, that, was shot. Good. that was really good. Great shot there. Yeah. And because of where the nine ball is, it takes away sort of a nat natural one, one rail kick. He had a pretty good shot at the two rail. Well, giving Mario a nice, a nice back into this this rack. Well, I don't want to get too straight here. I guess he's still got an angle. Oh, well, he did get long enough. Yeah, it's okay. Thought it was coming up shorter than that off that second rail. He's sitting perfect. New cloth, you know, sometimes you see it come off and it just spins uh, funny on you. Oh, boy. Wiped his feet, wobbled in. Banked that one in. Still counts. Mario is, is ranked number six in the world. Uh, the updated uh, world pool rankings. He is a six-time Euro Tour winner. And, of course, twice w with Alban Ocean as his partner, won the uh, World Cup of Pool for Austria. Yeah. And he is super solid. 
Those of you interested in seeing the bracket, it is posted in the comments, so jump on in the comments and you'll be able to see where those brackets are posted. Thanks, Patrick, for that. One of our teammates there. Yeah. Jumping yeah, in and getting the bracket up for everybody. This is a full 64-player field. And just looking around the room there in this shot, you can see a lot of a lot of the top names in pool. Hard at work. It's the who's who, as they say. Out there earning a living. And, of course, the key, really, for, for a lot of them, everybody knows, you've got to get, get the brake working. And they're braking from the box. Seems the pro it, box, even, so inside of the diamonds. Oh, it's slightly narrow, is it? Yeah. Yeah, the definition there is they take from the uh, first diamond out of the pocket on the bottom rail and draw a line to this spot, and where that intersects the kitchen line is where they shorten that to. Gotcha. Yeah. And every rack we've seen so far, they're still choosing to play the cut break, which by narrowing the box, like you say, means there's more... Well, that was rushed, it seemed. More speed on the cue ball on your brake shot after it hits the rack. So if you're missing an opportunity there, are going to give Mario a real good opportunity at this rack also. Yeah, and he's got the balls nicely laid out here. Didn't quite want to force that over to the side, so therefore he ends up with a bit of an angle. He's right on the rail. Got a big pocket there with the five. You can do just about anything you'd like with this shot, confidently. Yeah, and he's, although he's on the rail, he can still get to the lower part of the ball. He's got to decide which side of the eight ball he's going to go. So he's I guess is he's going to come down to the end rail if he can push over and, you know, it's all, you I'm know, looking wrong. He looks like he's going to listen and go short. It's yeah, just man. kind of a little straightish on this pink four, isn't it? A little bit. He is just going to tap this and stay inside. Oh, no. Give it a whack down the ta tangent line. He prefers this angle to get back up for the six. Stays inside of those two balls to avoid it. And pretty straight. Yeah, it's a weird one, isn't it? Yeah, Almost he's most any other likely going to follow around here, yeah. Almost any other angle, and there's going to be a simple route to get on the seven he might even consider drawing past the seven i think he's just gonna follow out. two two rails around i think he's got to force it a little bit but and with that nine ball there you can get yourself in trouble if uh, you, you can't if get careful. that high i don't think no you're he's right drawing he's gonna draw around the around the seven ball no straight over cheat the pocket stun up Yeah, Jeffrey's probably kicking himself over that unforced error. To let Mario extend his lead. Making that one look easy. He's going to jump out to a 2 nothing lead with this nine ball.
fun to me how many times the uh, size of the pockets come up as people are watching these come in. Dude, you got brand new cloth on these tables. Even a tight pocket plays big. And the cloth is that slippery, so. Now, we've seen a couple of balls wobbled already. You're saying that they're going, people are commenting that they're going in too easy. Well, they're just asking the size of the pocket. Yeah. They are four and three eighths. Jason said uh, they're four and three eighths inch pockets. <laughs> Take it easy on the bald comments. Everybody in this room has hair except for me. Somebody somebody asked if it was a requirement that the, all the refs were bald. That way they don't drop hair on the table. All right, my area to break up two to zero. And you came back through that rack completely clean, and uh, and you would think with the narrowed break box that you'd see. You know, the idea behind that is to try and encourage full power breaks, but we haven't seen any of those yet. I know Jeffrey DeLuna is known for having one of the most powerful breaks. I'm not Are sure you if asking for the rack to be removed? And it is that magic rack which really causes these players just to feel that they can very predictably play that cut break. Know that they're going to put the, the one ball in the side pocket. takes the pressure off the refs really doesn't it if the refs have to rack without the magic rack and he is going to go for this co combination here it's not is he there you go straight in got us again that time it was all you yeah this combination, I bet you, he goes for. Play good position, though, isn't it? In and out of the corner without contacting any of those balls. <clears throat> Just trying to determine how far he'd like to come off that second rail. He's going to come off the three, and he wants to find that angle for the four. Yeah. Because he's got to come around the six to get back up table for the five. Yeah, that shot from the four to the five around the, around the, around the table, through the balls. Eight balls kind of right in the middle of the table in the way. And he's got that. So he's considering, it looks like he is considering the other side of the eight. You could play that way also. A little tighter leave, I think. Let's see what Mario decides to do. Yeah, that's. Yeah, he might have got a bit straight. He might have to force this a bit, but he should have a good enough angle to come around the six still. And if it's straight enough, he may consider changing plans and play the short side on the five. Just a follow shot. Well, draw or maybe just draw shot straight back and over. Well, uh, that's interesting. Now, I don't believe he wanted to do that. <laughs> Look at that. We got a couple of regulars joining us here in this uh, chat. We got Bang Time checking in and Andrew Brooker, one of our regulars back in the room. Good to see you guys in there. Chipping in from Wisconsin. All right. DeLuna needs to, uh, not that it bothers him, but get over that first track where he missed the one, gave up a pretty good opportunity. There we go. Jeffrey finishes that off. Puts a, a score on the board. He's not going to let Mario get ahead too much. A little stroke practice here. Trying to get uh, 
Must not be feeling quite right. Yeah, I'm curious to know if he's going to follow suit, play the cut break like everyone else. Uh, this event is at US One Billiards in Connecticut, and it is Jason Shaw's pool room. I should say Jason Nara Shaw's. A nice overview of all these brand new Rasan tables. Must be waiting on a racker. And I didn't count how many refs they have here. We've got a handful of, of refs. Four refs. Yeah. Uh, I'm told by Mr. G. Chris G here. Yeah, it's one of the stipulations that a referee will rack on all four of the uh, arena tables okay. throughout the whole tournament. So you have one ref on all four? Correct. All right. Equal chance to get a good or a bad rack, I guess, at that point. Yeah. Consistent. Yeah, and that a lot happier the refs would be that they have you they're using these magic racks. Um and I know in some of these tournaments they've uh, even without the magic rack the players are not allowed to check the refs racks. But the magic racks of course lead to more consistency and predictable breaks. Well, we saw in our first match uh we had uh Jeez, my brain. Carlo Biado. There you go. Thank you. Uh, was consistently making the one ball in the side pocket. Yeah, and his opponent was not. And that led to a one-sided score. Okay, looks like we possibly... Are we still waiting on the rack? Is that? Yeah. Must have been all four tables at the same time finishing it out. Well, the referee's standing right there, chit chatting with uh, Jeffrey DeLuna. There's Darren Appleton getting down for a shot. And behind him. Good to see him back out playing. Yeah. He's having his health issues there for a while. He, good to see him up and running. There, we finally got a racker on our table. So, DeLuna going to be breaking, and the score right now is 2-1. to one. We've got uh, Mario in the lead. Mario with that scratch in the side pocket. He was didn't like the two rail leaves, so he decided to try something different. Ended up straight in the side. And Jeffrey to break. Nine almost had a chance a couple times to get kicked in the side there. He was heading that direction. But instead, he's got a straight-in shot on the two, or I should say perfectly angled shot on the two. Yeah, he's got his pick a pocket for the three ball. <clears throat> My pocket would be the side pocket by the nine there, but see what uh, DeLuna decides to do.
It's kind of on the rail, so you might want to try and go forward a bit more. Is he looking to come off rail first, or he might be? Wow. Trying to get up table and shoot the three in the same pocket, if he's doing that. And Just he hit that there. perfect. What a nice shot that was. Yeah, and that was a bold shot Good choice touch. going real first there. He's looking good here. Looking real positive to... Uh, Tie things up. Got to choose a good angle on the five ball to get back on the six. I think he's just going to draw back a bit. Uh, be my guess. He's left himself, yeah, just a little off straight. So use the side rail and draw back. Well, he didn't want to get too far back. You start to worry about the nine or. Oh, wow. Oof. That's unbelievable. So he really was trying to... I wondered if he was trying to get straight, and he didn't end up exactly straight on that five, but straight enough. Draw straight back, with that powerful draw shot. Luna puts it down and two to two, race to nine. First round matches playing right now. A little later this afternoon, we are going to be having a second stream up, up and running, so you'll be able to choose between a couple of matches. But yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna end up seeing Jeffrey's full power break because that uh, that cut break is just wor working so well under these conditions. I don't know that you see too many of the pros with the magic rack full power break anymore. I mean, I think that's kind of changed it. Side pocket for the one, and shape on the two. The five ball might be in trouble there. I can't quite tell if it's snuggled up against that seven. It looks like it did. Yeah. So he's got one problem ball here. He's going to try and work out. Probably like coming two rails around off the three if he can get the angle for it. Tap it out and set for the four on the side. And the five does have a pocket in the other side pocket. Yeah, it's true, can, too. If you can yeah. get behind it. And playing from this three to the four, it's kind of tricky to gauge accurately what angle you're going to end up with on the four. Yeah, I mean, he's got the side or the corner for that, so really just got to figure out a safe way to bump into this. He could draw straight over and just tap into him or come off that end rail or two rails. Got a few choices. Two rails it is. A oh. little tap is what he wanted to just brush that, didn't he? Well, uh, now he might have pushed that five that he couldn't can't even get to the side. But uh, well, his body language tells you he doesn't like this. But well, uh, yeah, because you never want to leave it to the last, right? I mean, you always want to try and get it one ball prior. So 
because he's quite thin on this safety it is four ball Looks like he's setting up and taking a look at that safe here he could cut this in and tap the five there you go he's pointing the line right there There we go, beautiful shot. It ends up with a real nice angle here, really, for this five. Uh, he's got a choice. He can play short side or come two rails past the nine. I think you're going to see a two rail stroke. Well, no, one it did, short side. Yeah, and a good offensive player like Jeffrey is, he's not going to want to play safe if he doesn't have to because the safety, your, your opponent kicks it and all of a sudden you've lost control. Making sure he doesn't hit the eight coming around two times. Yeah, right through the middle of the table here, just missing the eight. off the rail perfect little angle forward for the eight in the side you think that's probably the shot great angle to just stunt well maybe forward again here he might have to go i think if he would have had a little more angle he just would have stunned over but here he's going to end up having to go forward yeah, and I think he stopped just short of straight. Jeffrey takes the lead with the break and run. And we really should be keeping st stats on breaking runs in a row. That's what the table's breaking the way they are. I wouldn't have a lot of that coming later in the tournament. You'd be marking things down pretty good. Yep. Yeah, world-class talent here. I mean, this this whole tournament, you look around the room, and it's just, like I said, the who's who of uh, pool in this room right now. Got the U.S. Open coming up. This is a nice warm-up for that. That'll be next week in uh, Atlantic City. Actually, a couple days after this tournament starts, so. One in the side, got a couple of really funny little kicks there off of the off of the cue ball on that break. And he ends up dead behind that seven ball. Yeah, no rolls like this off the break is probably the only thing that are gonna stop some of these players just running out these matches. But the break working so well. But uh he's gotta come up with some kind of plan here, see if he can Stay in control of this rack. I will take a second just to explain that. So they do have music in the background. It is hard when you go to venues where they're playing music because we aren't allowed to really uh, put the sound on the balls because we'll get gigs continuously on uh, copyright strikes. So unfortunately, we aren't able to give you that part of the action. But uh, It's interesting what Jeffrey's done there. He's left a, an open shot, and he's known for his power power sh stroke and he's I think he's saying to Mario you know I can play this shot what about you and 
And there we go. That's exactly what Jeffrey was thinking. Oh, how's that? Side pocket. And a tiny wave of his hand to say sorry, no, but no. he's hooked anyway, so. I think he's actually just probably just... telling the cue ball to stop. Oh, man. I got this. But, yeah, he is behind the, the four. The billiards gods equalized themselves on that shot. And, uh, and he can my mind off that top rail and just pop, just uh, speed to hit it, push it against the rail. You're not necessarily going to hook him, but you're not going to leave him an offensive shot at him. Yeah, if you catch it too thick, it, it, it all falls apart. But yeah, if you can, well, you could catch it thick enough to bank it back to the top rail and send the cue ball down table, which is probably well. That's kind of what I was thinking. Yeah, it. just off that side rail far enough to get away from the side pocket. Corner pocket. Corner pocket. Those are the ones on the corner. Oh, yes. <laughs> Where's that diagram again? Yep. <laughs> and so it might they, actually be a slight bendy masse shot to get around the edge of the, the four to hit the right spot on the rail. Uh, maybe. And it's like he's going to get it straight. Difficult to predict exactly how thick you're going to hit this three ball. Well, they do call him pros yeah. for a reason. Well, yeah, he did double double kiss into it. He's going to get a little lucky here. I think it's going to sneak behind the seven. Had a bit of a roll. Yeah, and it seems tough for this one to end up going safe. Well, yeah, maybe. And he's hoping that one's yeah. stuck because it definitely came off the rail, leaving uh, Mario a shot here. And that's what he, what he was playing. Pretty natural shape back up for the four two. So make this ball, avoid the pocket down here in the corner, and uh, you'll have a good angle on this four. Avoid the pocket in the corner. He's okay. Just made her. Just got outside, so a little straight here. It's a little funny. Jeffrey's having a little laugh about that. Yeah, he, I tell you, I was going to say, he's just, just a bit straight on this. You can't really get control. be nice to be able to get up table a bit, but I think he's just going to have to settle for a little longer shot on this five. Now he got there. Should we put a graphic up because we get asked so many times, just four and three eighths inch pockets? <laughs> <laughs> we'll just put a graphic up in the corner. Four and three eighths. What what size pocket? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's four and three eighths. Chris G, our producer, chiming in there. Hey, hey. What a great job you're doing. Appreciate it. It's uh it's been a fun trip. Appreciate everybody for uh watching and I mean, the Shaws have been amazing here. The pool, all that they've got is just spectacular. Yep. Mario, you're going to take advantage, tie things up at three in this race to nine. So here we got three, three. And I've noticed that the refs are cleaning the balls every time before they before they rack or clean the cue ball with this little microfiber cloth. Yeah, we were talking about this before. That they obviously aren't using it because they're using the magic rack. But uh, if you take a look down there, um, this these new refs on tables they actually fall into the rack. You have a plate underneath there that you pick the entire rack with the balls up and slide the rack off with all the balls in there. So. 
It's like playing the lottery. You could probably bet on that, see if they fall into place in the right order. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Bang, <laughs> bang Time just made a comment about that. But, uh, yeah, it is actually the rack, uh, Bang Time. So there's, a, like I said, a couple of handles. You pick the entire rack and the balls up. And what's nice about that that pad on the bottom is it uh, kind of wipes the chalk off as as they fall because it's a uh, almost a microfiber itself. But neat design. Well, that two is going to be real tight going past that six ball. I'm not sure if he has it or not. Looks like it possibly has about a half pocket there. This is the one that fools us all the time, so it probably goes straight in. Yeah, and the overhead view definitely looks like it does go, but it he's definitely got a chance to uh, play good safety here too if he wants. The shot on the two doesn't really get him on the three. Yeah, so opting for the safe. Really oh, nice was, hit. That was beautiful. Pretty shot there. Let's just take a, a quick look at that shot. Yeah, he knew that not only could he follow forward to that spot behind the six, but that the two ball would go through clear without hitting something. Yeah, really hit that well. And he worked that out really well. And he's got so tight on this six ball that cuts out, you know, one rail kick for Jeffrey. Or does it? Well, he's looking at the point that he's can get to, and then he's got to make his adjustment from there. So his natural point is there. You're going to see him just spin this ball. Some left hand spin. Yeah, a lot of left hand spin. Look at that shot. Look at this. What In the hole. What an incredible know. shot. Wow. Holy cow. Yeah, he didn't have a natural angle there because of where the nine and the five are. Really pretty shot. Speed was perfect. Gives him gives a little fist pump, Jeffrey, after after that ball went in. Oh. And again, he doesn't have natural paths. Yeah, I don't mind this. He just run into the nine here. He he's got the four hanging, so he doesn't have to. Oh, oh boy. Yeah, that's true. And of course, ideally, he would have caught that just a little thinner and left a little bit more speed on the cue wall. But the four is, as you correctly say, hanging. This one, I think, is trickier than the last one, honestly. I don't know if you got to settle or if you actually try and draw this ball out. He's going to jack, jack the cue and draw. And he's, if you're going to pick anyone for this shot, it would be him. Uh oh well, that's what happens if you don't hit it as straight as you think. Well, it's amazing what happens when you jack up like that. You, it is really hard to um, keep center ball, and on that shot, it's crucial that he hit center ball. A bit of a scramble here. He's kind of working this out. And again, his next ball after that, the six is not too far from the pocket. Well, he's got to he avoid just, it first. Not, he needs not to, yeah, A, not hit it, and B, not end up on the right-hand side of the table. No problem. Ball hooked behind anything. Now you're coming out. 
Sneak past the seven, and he is looking good. This game's so easy. They make it look easy. Great shot. All right, from down 2-0 to now leading 4-3. to three. Puts down that 9. Yeah, I see how this is going to go already. You're going to plug in your phone, collapse the entire stream. Everything's <laughs> going to shut down. Just wanted to look up a little update on some of the other matches. That's all right. Most people, you know, they plug their phone in at night. That way they don't have to do that during the day. <laughs> okay, here we are. So, completed matches already. David Alcady beat John Francisco 9-0. Um... Matches in progress. We've got a, a tied up match. Barry Hetherington against Billy Jr. Asuri. 6-6. Six, six. Sky Woodward uh, being beaten right now uh, by Daniel Gutenberg. 5-1. It's a match of interest. Had a couple of people saying Sky is winning this event. And they Saw those in the comments a few times. Good break. Funny action on the cue ball. So he's going to be... Uh, I can see it. I think he did sneak out just far enough to be able to catch the edge of the two. Yep, Carlo and Rago both won their matches first round. Oh, yeah. Uh, Josh just asked about that. I We really don't know. We haven't been watching that match. But, uh, yeah, he, I, my guess is he's probably been stuck in his chair in that match. Funny game, though, nine ball some days. <clears throat> All right, so safety coming here from uh, DeLuna. Is there a way to get the cue ball behind the six here on this shot? I honestly think he's going to run down table and, and come back, like almost like he's shooting the 2-6. So the concern would be making the 2-6. Yeah, see, he's trying to come down here for the three. He wants to use that six ball to stop. And bring um, the cue ball back up table to where he is, you're saying? Well, I'm glad you asked there, Bo. Bo, we definitely have a delay on the side camera on purpose. We call it a continuous instant replay. So if you're watching, okay. Well, that's going to work. That'll play. Um, yeah, it's uh, so that you can catch what you might have missed. Um, and it works out real well. Obviously, that's only in our dual view, but. Mm. 
Mario wondering if he can get the cue ball back down the table to where it is right now after this shot. Snick the two ball across and put it on the top of the end rail. Can end up making the three ball and getting the cue ball down table. Now, if he's lucky, he ends up hitting that window, which obviously he was trying to hook him on. And he's having a good look at this because his body language seems to tell me that he doesn't quite have enough space past the seven ball to get to the the right angle to make this two ball. And so now you see he's looking at the one rail kick shot to play safe. He's not going to really like that shot though. It doesn't look like easy to get safe. And if it was me, I might be thinking about playing a, a one rail kick shot from the other side rail and, and give yourself a chance to make the two. Yeah, for that to go safe, it has to hit it just right. Yeah, that was That's tough there. Was... He could have played the kick off the other side rail and, and actually made the two ball. So Jeffrey's going to just roll this two ball gently in the side pocket and just tap the five ball gently. Leave the cue ball down there, where, close to where the five ball is. He's just trying to decide if he really wants to do anything with that ball or if he just wants to play for the shape. Yeah, and he's looking. Maybe that five ball does go. If the five ball has a pocket and it doesn't need to get broken, then, uh, then he's not going to. He just wants to shoot the two and get a nice angle on that four ball where he can control the cue ball path back down table for, for the five and he's definitely looking at it so the five ball does go past the nine into the corner pocket past the six and that's that means he doesn't have to break it here So you don't want to be up over that five, eight ball. That makes it a lot tougher, but I think he stayed far enough off of it. Yeah, and this makes this shot that much tougher, doesn't it? Holding the cue ball with this angle, with difficult bridging over the eight. That's natural if you weren't bridging over the eight like you were. It's a pretty natural shot. Came out okay, though. He's got, I think... Uh, I think Mario can cut this ball in the side pocket and whip the cue ball around the table. Really appreciate that comment, Brian. We we worked really hard at getting this thing put together. We've been doing this since after COVID, and we're really excited to start doing some matches like this. So. But are we allowed to say that word anymore? COVID? Yeah, that's it. <clears throat> yeah, Mario got a little bit lucky there. The five will end up behind the six.
I'll tell you, as much as we appreciate the comments, the subscription is really what we definitely appreciate. We do use all of the funds that we get from our YouTube channel to support our junior players. Great hit, and not going to be happy with the result. Mario with a good opportunity here to tie things up again. This race to nine. Right now, a four to three. Jeffrey DeLuna is in the lead. Mario started out hot. He won the first two, and then uh, Jeffrey fought his way back in. And I think it's been a bit of a struggle both ways for the rest of it. I think it's short side here on this, maybe. Yeah, he is. Short side six ball. Couldn't hit it much better. Yeah, that's quite an amazing choice, really, to go short side there. Uh, the link to the brackets is pinned to the top of the chat, so you can go ahead and take a look at that. Oh, I'm sorry. That's that's if you're watching uh, on Matt Apple Extreme's YouTube. If you are on Matchroom, I don't know that they have it pinned. They may, but uh, otherwise jump over to our YouTube channel and it's pinned there. Well, Mario's just about to take it to tied up again. 4-4 four, four in a race to nine. You know, and either one of these players, if you talk about the short list of who you think is going to end up winning this tournament, both of these guys are probably on the list. I think the whole field is on the list, isn't it? Well, there's a lot of good ones out there. Nine ball coming a little bit close to bank and cross side there, but didn't quite get there. Yeah, got a nice open table here. A little bit of a challenge to get over for the three, but not too bad. You should be able to just go straight up and down. Uh oh. Did try and come straight up and down, catch that three, but he didn't quite get the two to go. Well, he's lucky that he has a shot on the three ball here. 
not happy about the fact that he just chipped the four ball into a safe position. Which means this shot. Probably just going to play safe right here. Yeah, it's not casino carpet. Look at that. Somebody he said the carpet is nice too. It's not too loud. A lot of times you see these streams are at casinos and the yeah. carpet's going everywhere. I would agree. Jeffrey was trying to play a real aggressive shot there and catch the edge of uh, of the seven and break those up. He sent the three ball around three rails, but uh, it's still a pretty good result here. Well, uh, well, I thought, <laughs> yeah. Well, you got to be happy at that point, believe it or not. No, you didn't scratch. I was thinking you were going to scratch there, I think. 4 7 still is not sitting terrific. I think you're going to see a defensive play once we get that far, if not right now. Draw this straight back, come off the top rail, and try and stick him behind the 7, possibly. I don't know. Miss the 3. I can't tell for sure if he's actually got an angle to pound this three ball in and actually draw back and play some kind of break. I don't think, yeah, from there it looks like he's on the wrong side of straight. He just hasn't has not looked comfortable this whole match, to be honest. He's he's stretching, practicing his stroke. He yeah. just he really you can tell there's something not quite feeling right for him. Bring that big puff of air there. A drop of sweat rolling down his brow. I mean, he could play, try and draw back and play a safety <laughs> shot here. Uh -oh. I, well, I think that's what he's looking at. I mean, I don't know. That. Maybe you make that and just bank the four. I don't know what you do. Well, yeah, he could play a stop shot right there and bank the four. But it sure looks like if he's you're going to nah, if you're going to play the safety play on the safe. four instead of the three, that's well, not going to work. Gonna I don't go. think. Well, why not? Yeah. Well, there you go. I'm not sure if he had that anyways, honestly. I think if that would have sat in front of the side pocket, I think, uh, well, maybe he did. It was tight either way. Yeah, the cue ball wasn't quite right how he wanted it. But now he's put himself in a, in a spot of bother. Just going to sit thin snick this to leave the four ball right there. Probably wanted to catch the five ball on the other side of the five. Nice to touch, though. I mean, good speed to get right down here on the rail, get as much distance between the two as he can. Yeah, if he caught the five on the other side, it would have got redirected and, and it would have been a, a snooker. Home run, yeah. Yeah. And Mario does have an offensive shot here if he wants to make uh, the eight. I think he's just going to roll. I think, it, I mean, play like it's going to play the eight, but. Uh, don't and then just leave the cue ball roll up you know let the four sneak out along on the back side of the eight no yeah it's a real touchy shot that trying to play a soft rolling safety here from that distance Because it's easy for this ball to sort of leak out. The four ball drifts further than you think. The key would be, yeah, really controlling the cue ball to be frozen That's on it. the seven. And he did that to That's perfection. That's the shot there. right there. This gets tough here, too. Got him just deep enough that it's tough to hit that four off a of one rail for sure. You'd have to spin it back. So I think you're going to see a two rail kick. Oh, maybe. Okay, one rail that way. I never even looked. Try and stick it behind the eight here. Yeah, and there is also a natural scratcher if he 
catches this four ball fairly well and sends the cue ball straight into the pocket. Time to stretch. It's a reach here. Yeah, the shot is fraught with danger. Oh, he hit it hard. Okay. Is that the ball he was playing, huh? Well, that's not good, is it, Jeffrey? Not going to like it. Yeah, and he played it in a way to protect himself from scratching. The six is not in a great spot because normally you'd come off the end rail to pop out, but I think he almost has to play the side rail a bit here. He might not, though. But he is definitely going to have a little distance on this ball. Yeah, straight up, just got to avoid the six and stay down there a bit. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, with speed, he knew that he could do that without bringing the seven ball into play. A little bit of inside English to keep him keep, keep a nice angle on this seven. All right, Mario looking to take the lead for the first time since the first two games. It was up two zero and has been behind since. And this is going to get him on top one more time. And he just crosses the halfway point in this match. A quick clean of the cue ball. And with the uh, one ball going in so predictably on these breaks, the real question is where does the two ball go? And of course there is no pattern racking. The two ball is in there randomly. Particularly when the ref is racking. Are the players racking for themselves in the in the other on the other tables? Uh no, it's referee rack. It all we have four racks or four refs uh going throughout and uh there's that one ball on the side. Is he going to get a leave? Just sneaks out around the nine. So good looking table here. Yeah, it doesn't get much better than that. No. Got a definite. Uh, it's got to figure out running here. Yeah, just got to figure out looking ahead to the pink ball. Yeah, between the five Which and the six, I think, right? It's the window. Because either one you pick, it brings the third ball into play. Yeah, a little chat can. going on about it. But, uh, yeah, they replaced all of these tables uh, last week. They closed down, uh, brought in all brand-new Rassans, and they are going to stay here permanently. Pulled out all their gold crowns. Yeah, they had gold crown threes Which in here. Which were here for many years. But, uh, yeah, new cloth, new tables, new everything, new balls. So Mario is taking his time over this. He's looked at both of those windows. How's that? How's that line look? Kind of takes you a little bit into the six ball, doesn't it? Or if you draw to miss the six, you. I mean, I guess I my preference would be between the five six, but uh, everybody. I mean, this game is so fun. So what makes it so fun to watch at any level is just seeing different opinions on how they are played. 
and learning from the guys that do it more consistently than others, you know. And so what he's showing you there with his cue is he's thinking of following to the rail and brushing just missing the seven ball and then just have enough speed to stay in that window between the five and the six. For a shot on the pink four. Came in there added nice, some spin actually, and yeah. added a couple more rails. A little fortunate not to catch the edge of the five. He might have gotten in trouble, but he ended yep. up perfect, so can't can't fault him. Yeah, and the five goes nicely in the side, so yeah, just nice he doesn't have to forward. past the eight ball there decided he didn't want to play the five in the side just short of straight on the six so he's going to take a moment to figure this one out too Good shot, isn't it? To get straight on the seven. I think uh, the transition to the gray cloth, um, I actually think is relieving to me as my eyes get older because it sure is nice to have a stress-free yeah. relationship with the table in my eyes. You know, you look at the gray and it's just a very... It's not real hard on the eye to, to shoot. And you, you have great contrast between every color ball uh, because there's nothing in the same tone. Yeah, and I feel there's enough colors in the balls themselves to have a more of a colorless color. All right, Mario, two-game lead back to his original lead at the start of the match, making right. it 6-4. Yeah, you know, do you like the gray better? Yeah, I absolutely do, and everyone I've heard talk about it. Uh, likes the gray. I think it's uh, gray is the new green. I've heard no complaints at all about uh, about these tables, really. I mean, yeah. uh, and I think Matchroom now it's gray on all of their tournaments. Is that correct? Oh yeah, yeah. I think. Well, I think I don't know about the qualifiers because yeah. uh, those are going to be around different rooms, so it's hard to say. Uh, I know that our room, we're switching to the gray. Uh, the next time we recover, everything will go to the gray, sharp gray cloth. So a little update on some of the matches. Moritz Newhausen from Germany beat Sullivan Clark from Australia, 9-3. Uh, David Alcady won his match, 9-0, against John Francisco. Wow. Ralph Sakay, long match there. Uh, he lost by two games, 9-7 to seven, to a... Lucas Werner. Darren Appleton is up 8-3 oh. against Ivan Belmonte, and you can probably see him uh, in the background there. He needs one more rack to go through. Skylar Woodward still down. He's 3-7. Daniel Gutenberg is ahead of Tyler. Skylar Woodward there. Billy Thorpe in the lead against Dean McNaughton, eight to two. And their match is scheduled coming up. Chris Alexander from England against Jason Shaw from Scotland. Of course, he's the home the homeboy here in, in his own pool hall in Connecticut. Lee Van Cortese will be coming up. Shane Van Boning. 
I mean, it's just action-packed all weekend here. Make sure you guys stay tuned. These are going to be some incredible matches as we wind into the final day. Little player break here, I think. Uh, De Luna wanted a break for a second. Yeah, and it looks like Darren Applin is in the background there, sitting down, waiting for his opponent to break. But his his opponent's taking a little time out there. This obviously is not the Jeffrey De Luna Mario He match right here, even though we got their score up underneath it. <clears throat> All right, back to it. Got Mario He breaking at six to four in this race to nine. Two will go safe. So he's going to figure out where he wants to put this cue ball to gain some kind of advantage on a kick, on a push out. Can he see it? He might be able to see the edge and play safe here too. Right? Or do you think he doesn't have it? Looks close. Put the special tool up there. Yeah, he doesn't quite have it. Yeah, and he doesn't have any easy kick shot. He's going to play a push out here, but the question is, where are you going to put Jeffrey DeLuna that you don't give him an advantage? Jeffrey earlier in this match won an advantage over Mario with his push out choice. Playing into a sort of a shot that needed a good power stroke shot. A lot of the same guys you see here, you're going to see at the U.S. Open starting up next week, along with a whole lot of other ones that are not here this week. Yeah, and it's nice that Jason saw saw that opportunity to put this tournament there while all the pros are in town. So he's just tapped the cue ball a few millimeters over to be able to, I don't know if he's played to catch the edge of the two or at least give him enough to play a, a kick behind the two ball type shot. And if he does have that, he'll be playing it. The That's problem nice. is when you play it, the, cue, the two ball, if it runs into the three, I think he's going to try and just skin the edge of it off the rail first and bring the cue ball back down table. I mean, you're hitting it pretty hard, but... He said, go ahead. Well, we're going to see what his plan was, oh. unless his plan's already failed because he got it back. <laughs> that could have been the plan, too. Well, that can't be the plan. He's going to show you the plan. I think it's one of those... Uh, uh, well, not at that speed. Well... I think he was hoping DeLuna was going to want that shot. Jeffrey asked for the cue ball to be cleaned. You got to thread the needle here a little bit. To pick these balls off. Careful. Oh, 
Yeah, you don't have to. He's a little straight and a yeah. little bit caught up on the nine here. Not saying it's anything that's it's, really going to give him trouble, but it, well, it just shows he's not quite feeling it. And the five ball doesn't go past the seven, which means you'd like to play a kind of a draw shot here. And, and if he has access seven, to the bottom of the ball. About? Four ball. Purple or uh, pink ball next. Yeah, I'm saying he can't roll forward into the other corner. He has to draw back. I see. And he could get just enough to the edge, of, to the bottom of the ball there. Still confused, but yep. Four to the five to six looks pretty good to me, I think. Something's catching Jeffrey's attention. I'm not sure what he's, he's looking for the ref again. Yeah, no, it's just waiting. Yeah, waiting it's for the play. Somebody in the, yeah. Yeah. This is probably going to be another one of Jeffrey's straight draw shots that he likes. I think high left here. Round it. Yeah. Yep. Another two rail position here for the seven. I'll leave an angle to come one rail back and shoot that nine where he's putting the, or the eight where he's putting the six, I should say. So he's going to try and create an angle here on the seven to come off the side rail and out. Somewhere around the side pocket would be nice, I think. Let's see what he decides. Oop, decides he needs a longer cue. Tell you, it's amazing it took as long as it did for cue designers to design that, and make it happen. I'm trying to remember. Was it uh, Jacoby had that? Uh, that extension that was in the queue, and you just turn it, extend it, and it was a steel rod that would extend out and then lock back in. It was a very unique way to do it. It's not. That'll play one rail off the end rail back down. Yeah, I like that idea of having the extension inside the queue. Extendable. I'm actually planning on making my own cube that way next time. I'll find out if it affects the way it plays. Well, waiting wise, I just yeah. I think a lot. Of the reason people don't do it is because well, here's your draw shot. You they don't want their cue to be complex inside like that. Looks like he's going to avoid everything and just draw straight back. At least that's what he initially lined up on. And this is a, a right-handed shot for a left-handed player. Changing his mind, he doesn't want to play it right-handed. Yeah, nicely controlled with his opposite hand. Because when you switch hands like that, he didn't have a glove on, on his uh, bridge hand, which uh, didn't seem to make any difference at all. DeLuna taking advantage, getting it within one again. Five games DeLuna, six games Mario He.
This is Chris G. I just want to take a second and thank everybody for hanging out with us. Chris G's our producer here. He's the guy giving you all these great angles and great shots on the stream. We got the easy work. We just get to sit here and watch the game and appreciate it. One ball side pocket. And Chris G's should commentate more. You've got that silky smooth commentary voice i've always felt mr g much well, better than mine i will say one thing they have the break figured out yeah oh yeah one on the side you ball back into the nine almost every time it's beautiful cut break and that's really the reason that they limit the position of the cue ball with the this break box but it doesn't seem to be stopping these softer controlled breaks And in fact, they're not even putting the cue ball all the way to the edge of the box, so they could go even narrower than that. The real question is, are you just going to pound this two ball in and whack the six ball and hope you come out for the, for the three? He's just got to go into this, really, doesn't he? And there you go. That's what happens. Oh, the nine ball's in. Look at that. He puts his hand up in apology. Little bit of luck there for, for Jeffrey. He hit it and sort of rolled the dice a little bit. And the nine ball found its way in. Jeff, Jeffrey's practicing his stroke there with both hands. He obviously does play pretty well right-handed. And it looks like he had forgotten to score his game because they're keeping their own score. He just went over there and tapped it. Rare miss on the one ball on the side, but yep. the three did still go down, and he's actually got a good shot on the one. Yeah, the, the three ball being the, the wing ball, the corner ball. Saved him that time. One ball sneaks past the six. He's got a nice wide open table here. He is awkwardly close to straight here. He's just sort of on the wrong side of straight. So yeah, what he's showing you there, he's just going to gently roll this ball forward and take a long shot on the four. Doesn't like it. And then it looks like he's now considering giving it more speed and following forward two rails just to give him a, a wider angle on, on this shot on the pink four. A little surprised he's not drawn back from the side pocket. I know you could get trouble with the five, but yeah. as much as he draws, I'd, I'm surprised to that's, not see him just draw short for that side pocket. That's scary, though, yeah, just because of where the five ball is. Drawing towards... 
I said draw. Drawing commission. Drawing towards right. the uh, that snooker hook zone. So he's going to stop and have a little think about it. Um, it's definitely a crucial shot, especially 6-6 six, six as it yep. is right now. An opportunity to go into the lead again after being down a couple games again. A little bit of a fortunate shot. Yeah, absolutely. A turning moment in the match. If he gets out here or turns it back over to Mario. And that's, that's the thing about these great players. I mean, he's generally a very quick player, but if you haven't fully got the answer, you're going to stop him until you figure it out. Well, and we've been kind of talking there about it go. the whole time. He just hasn't looked quite comfortable, so. Cheated the pocket there. Smart to take a little more time. And he's come out, he's come out well from that. Back in control. Yeah, he's going to have to go around the angles for this shot after this one. So he's going to draw back to give himself a nice little angle, angle on the six so that he can go around the table. Right through the middle of the table. So he doesn't get too straight here. No, he definitely made himself have to stroke this ball because yeah. he is a bit straighter than he would have liked to be. Not as bad as completely straight, but yeah, if you had a steeper angle, it would be sort of just automatic to roll this ball in. Just means we get to see something pretty here. Digging down. Well struck ball there. Zing is right. Takes the lead at a critical moment. He just needs two more racks. He's seven, six up. Against Mario, he. I believe we've just received word that uh, Shane Van Boning will be on the stream next. Excellent. And who is he playing against? Uh, Lo Ho Sum. And that will start as soon as this match is over, as far as I know. Might be a slight yeah. delay. They have to announce we all don't the matches. Really, we don't really know. We just take what they give us. Right. We're... No control over the tournament or any of the scheduling. We're just well, maybe a little control. Slight. It's been great though. This is an amazing experience and I'm glad to be here. It's not a bad match in the bunch, I can tell you that. So that was two breaks in a row for Jeffrey where the one ball did not quite make it in the side, but the uh, he got the wing ball, the corner ball instead. Worked out well yeah. last time. The one ball did find a way into a pocket eventually. Jeffrey just waiting for this player on the other table. It's tough to tell with that overhead view whether he has a clear shot at the three ball, and he's he's getting time taking good looks, so you know it's close. Looks like he's going to try and spin it up the rail. Yeah, it looks like he was going slight, addressing the ball slightly on the left, so it looks like he does have to bend it just a hair. 
which means you'll be following with right hand spin. It's tough to get enough speed on that shot though, because otherwise it doesn't bend enough. If you, if you hit it hard enough, for the cue will then to follow a couple of rails. So that shot just may not be there. So it's playing a push out. Nice speed control to get that cue ball on the almost frozen on the rail. So he's deliberately left Mario obviously a makeable shot here. Knowing that he's only giving Mario the top of the cue ball. But really, this doesn't look that bad for Mario. Because of where the four ball is. I mean, you can roll this three ball in. Gently. And leave yourself up table and still have a shot on the pink four. Jeffrey obviously thought it was this was problematic enough to play it, and Mario he having a good old think about it somewhat agrees. Well, and I mean I can if if Jeffrey's not feeling super <laughs> about a stroke, this is definitely not the one you want to just get up there and wing at. And I think Jeffrey's tempting him with these shots because he kind of came out on top before when he played a push. Mario took the shot and then missed it. And uh, Jeffrey's trying to lure him into the same kind of thing here. Definitely can't give it back. Chooses to play safe. Somewhat surprised there. I mean, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this safe except for the fact that. You are giving Jeffrey a chance back to the table. In a pretty makeable jump shot, it looks like. Is this our first jump shot of the day? Yeah, it might be, actually. I think we've had one on stream. Well, on the stream, anyways. How's your luck? We'll just say not horrible. Didn't leave it hanging in the jaws. But Mario's definitely got something to work with here. Yeah, it looks like he does have a shot. The five ball lets him get through to the, the potting angle. But he's got to negotiate where the cue ball goes after it kisses, on the, uh, kisses the five. Yeah, it's not going to hit the five full in the face, so it's not you're not really using the five to stop the cue ball. If he lets it roll, he, he end up snookered behind the behind the nine. So you almost need to let this cue ball sort of stun off the three and then glance the five and stay in that window between the nine and the and the six to have a clean shot. Got the referee over there, having a good watch to make sure he actually does strike the three ball first. 
And making this ball is no gimme. I mean, he's got a cue all up there in the, in the corner pocket. That was a good hit. And... Real good hit. So you have the edge of that. Can't quite see it. Yeah, he got lucky there. Swing and a miss. And a random, random safety. What? Now, how do you play this thin snick safety and not hang the three ball? Well, it's a game of millimeters. You know, it looks like impossible to make this three, but after he cuts it so thin, you, you almost imagine he was making this ball. But, but I think he knew the three wasn't going to go in, and he's trying to get down, back down table behind the seven. I'm going to guess Jason Shaw's match is up next because his theme song's playing in the background from the Moscone. Nice. I'm not going to try to sing it for you guys. Oh, yeah, please I'll spare don't. You. Yeah, please. Well, it says pool hall. They'll probably just have that song on repeat. Yeah. Right? <laughs> no doubt. Okay, now watch Mario thread the needle here. Into the rail, back out of the rail. Don't strike any balls on the way through. Wait, what's the song? Is it Give It Up? <laughs> what's the name of that song? I'm not sure what the song is. Maybe someone oh. in, in should... chat can help. Yeah. It's like the na 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 na. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop. You hey, said well, you weren't going to sing. You got me into it, man. <laughs> read the sign. No singing. No, no, I just asked All the right, question. That's it. I, yeah. I'm going to be on mute now for the next half hour. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> All right, Mario looking really nice here to make this a 7-7 match. Got a couple of balls to get it up there. Not liking that wide angle there. Seven seven. In a race to nine, anybody's match now. Slight advantage, Mario. Now, just because he's breaking next. In this environment where the tables are breaking really nicely. There's Nels Fine. And. 
Take a look at an update. What's the score here for Nails? Oh, it's the, they just started that match against Imran Majid. So it looks like... Sky Woodward on his way back. Six games to eight. That's getting interesting. He was down eight to That's two, I a believe. A lot closer than it was. One point. Never, never count him out. It's tough, too, when you're on the hill and somebody starts coming back on you. you got to maintain, stick with it. But again, a little bit of a weird cue ball action. It seemed to work. Yeah, he made both the side pocket shot, the one ball and the wing ball. I think you're going to see him fire this bank here. And you can see the mark on the table where they're both breaking from. Uh, it's not even close to the edge. And so when you play your cut break like that, yeah, the cue ball ends up with a lot of speed in it after it hits the rack. And he's got to make a decision here. He's just want to bank this three ball in and run out. Make Jeffrey uh, wait. <laughs> See if he gets I another I think it's shot. almost impossible not to shoot this ball. I mean, you got to you got to play this three ball. I'd hate to try the safety and then have it leak out. Safe stuff here too. Yeah, it's yeah, that's right. I mean, one. you can you can mess the safety up, and even if you hit it right, you still give your opponent a chance to kick it and something to happen. Right. Roll the dice. And I think if you hit this with the right speed, it doesn't go to the open pocket necessarily. Well, he That's what he was up. thinking. Yeah, he hit at the wrong speed, too. He sent now it over to the open pocket. Now he wishes he had changed his mind. Hit a little slow and let it open up a little bit more. I thought he was going to do that just, just like I say, to keep it on that side of the table where you got the potential of the four or the eight getting in the way. I mean, I'm not saying this is dead easy because he's definitely got to run into some things here, and you never know what's going to happen when you do that, but... I'm sure he's happy to have a shot. Yeah, Jeffrey Deloon is the kind of guy who just who, he he doesn't worry. He's not too worried about kissing balls. He likes that that side of his game, and I think he's going to play here for a solid contact on the on the pink four, and hopefully end up with a shot on the four. Is he kissing right into it? Yeah, I think you're right. I think he's going to try and push it up just like that. And that was and almost that was perfect, but he's got control. Really unlucky, That's really. A lot of moving parts, isn't it, when you bring other balls into play? He nudged it nicely towards the corner pocket. And this is a big moment in this match. This rack either player can take to get on the hill. Can he see that? Are we fooled again? He had a shot he's at looking already. at it like he's got a shot at it. So maybe he did hit oh, it perfect. He's maybe bending it a little bit. Yeah, he didn't quite have it. He might have it. That's okay. That was the play. Was so he had the edge. He yeah. was playing safe. And a nice shot. He didn't quite get there. He left Mario the edge. Good idea. And so immediately you start thinking of chipping off the right-hand side of this ball, but you've got to make sure you really don't just put the full ball in front of the corner pocket. He's going to try and two-rail it into the eight, probably. Okay, so he's gone that way. That's a good result. Give it up by KC and the Sunshine Band. A couple of people answered that. I appreciate it. <clears throat> well, Jeffrey doesn't want to move. So I should reevaluate that shot for a minute. He knows he's left Mario a very makeable snick shot on this four ball. It's 
Straight up and down table. Speed to come two rails. Great speed, good angle, leaving himself plenty of choices. Don't want Z bank across across the table and back. Yeah, out I think he's going to short side it again. Yeah. That's what he's looking at. That's it's natural speed to do that. You just you got to be uh, pretty accurate coming up table. Uh, you know. Yeah. Or you give it a little bit more and end up on the other side of the seven. Well, he that's, did. Too, that's yeah. what he's doing. Yeah. It's gone a little bit low. It's not done yet with this rack. Looks like the seven ball is still cuttable if you don't mind letting the cue ball fly. You don't do, need to do too much with the cue ball except for make sure you don't scratch. You could choose to bank the seven in the side pocket. Yeah, I mean, the only reason to do that would be to hold it for safe, I think. Yeah, if that angle presents that. But even then, you're not sitting great on the eight. It's a good shot. Yeah. Be happy with the results there, I think. And looking to take the lead and go to the hill. There it is. Eight games to seven. Mario He in the lead over Jeffrey DeLuna. This first round match. The Connecticut Q Lee Open here at uh, Jason and Ira Shaw's room in beautiful Connecticut. First time here. You ever been to Connecticut? Never. New Haven. Lovely, isn't it? Here? Yeah, it's lovely. Yeah, it's my first time as well. Anywhere near New York. Oh, yeah, you said that. See, I've been to New York. I promised I'd never go back. I mean, it looks like a beautiful city. I'd like to see Central Park. and It was good to visit. we we'll be able to get to tour around a little bit Sunday and Monday before we head out. Yeah, we hopefully we'll get some time if we can get things toward it. Well, you got to make it through the tournament first. You got to get through this field. Sixty-four players. So the Jeffrey DeLuna fans out there hoping that something doesn't go, quite go right with this break for Mario. He makes the one ball in the side, makes the wing ball, and as has been common so far in all these breaks, cue ball flies. Well, I wonder if he's going to remove the rack. That's going to be the second shot in the... Maybe you wait till it's your shot. Right? Yeah, he's going to be pretty happy with that result, isn't it? Isn't it's going to be tough to get the... Oh, there you got it. Looks like he's just got a nice follow shot on the two ball. Three ball goes the other way. And Jeffrey now has to sit and watch. So that was the determiner right there. Is, does that three ball go past to the left? Well, now that the ref just did that. Might? No. No. It looks exactly the same. I think it clears. Oh, I don't think he needs to get to the left. I think it clears to the right hand pocket. <laughs> Look at that. Was he really playing to get straight in the side? Just might have. Well, he's straight in the side, so my answer is going to be yes. Yeah. Yeah, just too, just a little bit too much angle on the two ball to stay. Yeah, that's a that's beautiful kind shot. Of remarkable, isn't it? Mm -hmm. He's got a nice little shot here too. I think perfect angle. Talk a lot about being on the right side of the ball. And he definitely is. He wouldn't want to be on the other side. He's not going to rush this, is he? He's going to take his time and make sure he gets it right. Jeffrey's over there optimistically chalking his cue. Oh, my. What happened? That one you're not going to see happen very often, especially in this uh, condition. 
Luna has got to be thrilled. Yeah, I'm pretty and that's sure why he thought this match was over. That's why you've always got to be ready, no matter what. You never know. Find the gap around all the balls. What a beautiful little shot that was. And so although it looks fairly simple, he's still got to make sure he plans the right angle from the six to get on the seven, and then the set well, the seven the angle on the seven. More of the... So a Z bank shot, as they say in America. Body language says he's okay. All right, he got it. Could have gotten in trouble pretty easy there. Didn't need much more roll, and he would have been behind that nine, but instead he's sitting perfect and ready to tie things up at Hill Hill. Well, that's really exciting. And Mario is going to be kicking himself for missing that ball. I wonder if he got a heavy contact because it looked like. It ended up going thick and catching the, the point. Sometimes just trying to minimize the travel of the cue ball lures you into doing that. Or a bit of chalk between the balls, a little bit of extra friction can also do that. So Hill Hill, advantage to the breaker. Jeffrey DeLuna. You get a good view there of Imran Majid and Niels Fine. Yeah, this is perfect for you. You you know more of the world players than I do. Being from England and all. Well, and of course, that's where Eamon Majid is from also. He's born, born and raised. Although he did change his affiliation and play for India, I know. And for a brief For a brief moment. And safe there. All right, back to DeLuna. Breaking on the hill. Trying to take down Mario He. And they are both putting the cue ball in the exact same spot when they're breaking. And that's why. Yeah, no clear shot. I think you're going to see him uh, play off the right side of the two and send that cue ball over by that 4 8. Yeah. And you've got to be careful this one doesn't leak out because that shot, you say, kind of pushes the two ball down to the bottom rail. And if he yeah. catches a window, he so may just leave him straight he's, in. He's looking at playing it into the nine enough so that it doesn't do that. Increasing his odds a bit because he leave the three kind of in the path of the two at that point. Also, even if he's above it, seems and leaked out. You have to hit the two ball very straight to hit the nine. Right, which he's not playing the two off the nine kiss shot. Why would you? Yeah, I don't think, but who knows? That's for him to decide, I guess. Yeah.
Oh. And the problem with coming off the uh, right side of the two and trying to get behind the eight and the four is there is a gap between the eight and the four. Send the two over there too and leave them behind the nine. Maybe that's what he was looking at. That might at be, here. yeah. But you have to control both balls. And you've got to control the speed of both. And they're, they're locked to each other. So you, sometimes you visualize shots that just aren't quite possible. And there it is, leaking out and leaving a shot. The most important is he didn't want to leave Mario. Clear view of the two ball. He was careful enough to hit the two so thin that it didn't end up in front of the pocket. But That's why you should never listen to my advice at pool. Well, I learned that a long time ago. <laughs> I don't give you advice at pool. That's right, because you notice I never take it. Right. So, Jeffrey has given control to Mario here in the final rack. That's a nice little stop shot. Z bank the two all up to the top of the table. Well, I'll tell you, he got a little bit unlucky because he trapped the two in off the six, I think. I think it's just not quite nice for that, is it? I know what you're saying there. Two reels behind the two and let the six steer the two ball into the pocket, but I think it catches this top rail or the point. It doesn't really go in. Which means, if that's true, Jeffrey's got a real problem here. I suspect he's going to be given this a little bit extra speed. Ugh. Nope. Missed it completely, ball in hand. That so has got to be disappointing. Yeah. Because even if you catch the edge of that, you're sitting pretty good. You're gonna leave him, and that's leave exactly what he was playing. Yeah, he didn't want to hit it full, catching a super <clears> thin edge. Risky. Yeah, so Mario looking at the transition between the four to the five. I think um, I I like keeping the angle and coming around two rails to shoot that five in the same pocket as the four. Yeah, and once the three ball's gone, of course, before that. Uh, but you can do it either way. It's not in the it's not in the way. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the four ball two two rails around. Yeah, around the back out for the five. I, mean, I just think it's tough to get the other angle to get the five up table. Well, let's see what Mario is going to do with it. Right. Yeah, if the nine ball wasn't there, you'd actually stop, yeah. it, stop it right yeah. now, would you? Yeah, and he still might, you know, but I, I he, like like about where he is right now, he honestly. He can roll forward and just get on the other side of the nine ball. That too. Oh, he's thinking about this, isn't he? Otherwise, it's draw all the way back to where he is right now to give himself that angle that he's looking at. Well, that's, that's what I say. I think I, for me, I would try that and put it back where it is but everybody's strong in their own areas you know what i mean like you, you gotta shoot the shot you like and mario will have his way just important to make a decision isn't it between those shots and he's kind of ended up in between he's got to still go the same way he was planning but he's just gonna thump it harder this because of his slightly shallow angle on the four And yeah, it kind of lengthens up. He ends up up table. I kind of like this Matt guy. So let's just be thankful we're not watching spot shots right now. <laughs> That's the shot I was looking for. And you're right, he was just short, so he had to force that ball around. He did it pretty nicely. And I think he's got enough of this that he can just stun this ball forward, kind of. A little low on inside and just stun forward. Yeah, that's where he's going. He's going to roll These up the, the kind of shots that you miss time and you miss. Yeah, he's not going to miss that. Just right and good angle on the seven. Come out nice. I think we're going to see Mario recover from his miss in the side pocket. Yeah, Jeffrey had that one choice on his safety that he played that he'd like to take his mulligan on. All right, 
what a great match this has been. Let's see if Mario can finish it off here. Put this nine into the corner pocket. Awesome work and a uh, great match. Going to see nothing but that all weekend long here. Some really great matches to come.